y'all welcome back to my channel wanted to get on here today and talk about obsessions summer obsessions and i'll categorize down below because i'm doing it all skincare makeup lifestyle and definitely sunscreen it needs its own category and i think i'm just gonna start with skincare in the summertime i'm in a very hot climate it's already up towards 110 here so i really get obsessed with toners and acids my favorite toners right now obsessed with this derma e anti-wrinkle toner because it's got acids in it so i feel like it really leaves me clean without stripping my skin i love that and probably the most obsessed with right now and that is the clinique 1.0 this i believe has salicylic acid in it has a nice soft scent you can barely smell that it smells like oj's toner from the 80s do y'all remember that? This is nice and active, but gentle, doesn't strip my skin. This is probably my top, top obsession with the toners right now. And then the other thing I really focus on is acids. Okay, I will tell y'all, in the summertime, I get obsessed with the good jeans. Now, this is pricey, but this is my first bottle of it I've ever had. I'm just now about to replace it, and it's down to about right here because I alternate it with other things. I don't use it every day, and I don't use a full pump of it. I would definitely, before you try this, get a sample because it's so active and because it smells real strong of lemongrass, which is why I love it so much. That lemongrass smells fresh and citrusy to me in the summertime. But let me tell y'all what else I'm obsessed with. If you are budget conscious, like I am too, I have the Ordinary Lactic Acid and I love this. It feels active and it makes my face feel nice and I want to say clean because an acid does it makes me feel just pink and energized and clean and I just love it these are my two acids of choice right now in the summertime my next obsession is sunscreen like it should be all our obsession in the summertime I have sprays just copper tone and banana boat that I always thought of as like beach sunscreens or are these daily I get in the shower and spray these on and then I have Neutrogena Ultra Sheer I love this I you know just put this on exposed areas so sunscreen, but there's two things that I do with sunscreen that I'm way obsessed with. And one of those is layering sunscreen. I am layering up this summer. My first layer is right after my skincare. And I use either the Nivea Sun Protect Water Gel. I've talked about that in a ton of videos. Biore Aqua Rich Gel. I've talked about that in a ton of videos. I love those. I also love the Dr. Jart every Sunday. This is kind of like a primer and a sunscreen. It's beautiful. I love that. And then something that I've just gotten out recently that I'm loving, this Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Liquid. Anything oil-free or Ultra Sheer by Neutrogena, I love those. So one of those, this is my first step. And then I do a CC or a BB. Now all winter long, I've been obsessed with the CC, and I still am. I still love this. Now this is a little more luminous. Then my next obsession, and I'm really obsessed with the Shiseido with the 50. This is a medium cover. Both of these are medium covers. This is a little drier looking on, flatter than the It's CC. And so I'm really loving the Shiseido again. All winter, I was like, why did I love the Shiseido so much? <laughs> this shines in the summertime, y'all. I love this. I use it every day. And then my last layer is a foundation. And I'm holding this one up because this has a 35 sunscreen in it. So if I can get one that's matte with a sunscreen in it, I really like that. So my foundation is my last layer. That's three layers of sunscreen. Now I will use a luminous matte sometimes, but my first choice right now is a matte. My double wear, that's dirty. That is a beautiful matte foundation. It's what I wore today and it keeps me nice and you know not overly shiny through the day it's a classic and it's beautiful the lancome tint a doll if this is too dry for you in the winter time you might try it in the summer this is a, a little bit more of a matte a drier matte than my dior forever but they kind of dry down the same i'm really using my lancome tint a doll right now i also pick up my super stay but in the summertime this has more dries down to more of a luminosity it's still beautiful and i still love it if you are dry this would be beautiful on you in the summertime. More than that right now, I'm picking up my matte and poreless because it's more matte. And I'm going to get that tag off after this video. I'm taking that tag off. My matte and poreless is beautiful in the summertime. So these are my go-tos in the summertime. Okay, I'm also, every summer, obsessed with the bare minerals. Because some days when I'm just 
cut. And I just don't want a lot of layers. I layer up my sunscreen always. And then sometimes I just finish off with my Bare Minerals and get a nice cover. With the Shiseido BB and this, beautiful. Then for touch-ups, this is my other obsession with the sunscreen. This Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist. And I use this more for my face than anything else. I got that from my girl Elle and one of my subscribers, I believe MKG, told me about that. And I <laughs> love it. This does not bother my eyes. I just kind of hold my hair back. And I spritz, 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 spritz all over my face. Kind of holding it back at a real good mist. Now, I'm not telling you to spray this around your eyes. That would be irresponsible but I'm telling you I do. I started just spraying it here and down, and now I've really gone to town, and I will just spray all over with it. So I spray this all over my face for a touch-up during the day. Facial mists. I use these a lot to freshen up during the day. Obsessed with the cuddly grape water. I use this to freshen up during the day. I use this before I do my skincare. This is lovely. I also love the Event Thermal. This is just a lovely spring water. Both of these are so inexpensive, nice and refreshing. Okay, then let's talk about powder. The one that's really, I'm obsessed with this is the It Bye Bye Pores because this is beautiful. Under my eyes with a damp beauty blender just right here to brighten, it's also beautiful all over the face. This is an everything powder. I have a pressed one in my purse. This is brand new and I was like, don't replace that. You have so many powders, I could not. I had to have this. The luminosity it puts on my face is beautiful without being shiny. This is so great. I love this powder. The color that I'm obsessed with right now. Of course, my latest things are what I'm most obsessed with. The Tarlet in Bloom. I love this. It's what I have on today. This with the other thing I'm about to show y'all. It's just beautiful. Very pigmented. Just soft and feminine. And I love this. And then I'm obsessed with my Kat Von D Shane Light for my neutral palette. I love this. Mary Ellen had this. She did a get ready with me. And before the end of her video, I was like, yeah, I gotta have that. I would say, it's just perfect. I can't even point to one color I'm obsessed with. The most is that. I love this for a transition. Cleaned this out about six months ago or seven. And I'm so glad to have this back. Y'all, okay, I'm always kind of off on my timing. In summer, when it's supposed to be all natural, I am wanting to smoke it out. More on my lid, kind of go darker. And it's made me re-obsessed with a couple of my fizzy arts, but mostly this one. The dark mattes, just about daily. When a palette looks too cool, like if the in bloom looks too cool, I put a little warm over it and it kind of neutralizes it a little bit. Gets me a good dramatic color. Learned that technique from Mindy Davis MUA. If you don't know Mandy, you need to go visit her. I get a lot of good tips from her. And then blushes. I will not go through all these. I've got my Laura Gellers that I've been talking about ad nauseum in other videos. The colors I'm leaning towards right now are real earthy pink. Like the pink grapefruit. I'll just give you a for instance. Like that. Like a real earthy pink. I'm also obsessed with my Rocketeur that I almost cleaned out. I love to earth stuff up with these. And then one other one. I was just, wasn't going to talk about it, but I'll be real fast. The It Naturally Pretty. It is beautiful for every day. Then I'm also obsessed with those lilac purples in Dawn's Life Over 40, our Dawn had Pansy Pop on her Clinique video, and I got it. It's beautiful. Now, I use this as a topper. Let's do a little. I just put it over what I already have on, and it just, yeah, it just adds a purple, lilac-y undertone. I'm obsessed with this. I'm, a, I'm obsessed with the purples. Still obsessed with this Wild Orchid in Bexham. I put it on over anything that is too pink, too bright, and it makes it a blue pink. I'm gonna show you just real fast. It's sheer. That is perfection. I love it. Okay, then I accidentally got obsessed with a new kind of, I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me. I kept trying to buy these vibrant lipsticks and getting them in and they were sheer. And I was like, what is that? It's sheer. I love them. I picked up two from NARS. One in Moon Orchid, and again, I thought this was going to be so bright. It's like a nourishing lip gloss. Look, it just is barely tinted. All right, I'm going to layer up. But you can layer these because they are so sheer and light and beautiful. If you know of any drugstores like this, 
let me know. I accidentally discovered them. So I don't have a drugstore to show you in these. I'm going to find one though. Voodoo Lily. And this looks real dark. But again, and it's got that purpley undertone. And then it's that. You can barely see it. Hold on. Let's put a little line. I love those. I use these for the gym all the time. And then through the day, I carry them with me for moisture. Those are great. And then the last makeup item I'm obsessed with is a, this is two things. And it's duping this Lancome Absolute Powder that's real hard for me to use. <laughs> it's beautiful. Heard about this the first time on um, Lori's channel, Pride and Photos. And I love this. It's beautiful. But sometimes I get it right and sometimes I don't. And I always get this right. And it's a very inexpensive dupe for y'all. I'm going to get a subtle highlighter. <laughs> Mine, the lid fell off of it. This is my Makeup Revolution in Peach Lights, and I love it. And I really swirl my e.l.f. Pointed Foundation brush in there. This is the perfect brush for this. Swirl them in there real good. Then any powder that you think makes you flawless. I'm just picking up my Max. I think this is a Studio Fix. And I'm going around in that real good. Then I'm going to tap it off. And I put this through here anywhere I want luminosity. And it just makes your whole face glow. I've never noticed this making my pores stand out, and it's beautiful. So if you want to play in your makeup one night, try that. It's beautiful. I'm also obsessed with my Target shades. I love Target shades. These are my current obsession. I love them, and I have some aviators that I love. These are, I love round shades. If you like to keep a lot of shades that you can just toss in the bottom of your purse, then get, you know, I've used my shades. Target shades, they have scads. I'm also obsessed with Poshmark tops for summer. I usually put in strapless tops, halter neck. I get most of my tops on Poshmark. It's inexpensive. It's fast. I can't find anything in the stores I like. Obsessed with Poshmark. And then the last thing that I would say the most important thing that I'm obsessed with is finding the joint in summer because summer is so hot here in my part of Texas. It's 110 already. So summer has never particularly been my favorite time of year, but I'm finding the joy in it. Summer evenings are a favorite. And summer mornings are a favorite. And spending time with my family and just really enjoying the time that they're here. Going and sitting on patios with friends and having dinner. And I'm just really focused on finding the joy of the season and not wishing it was fall all summer long. And I think that that is all of my summer obsessions. Y'all tell me what y'all are obsessed with this summer. I'm sure I will get obsessed with it with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.